Welcome back to Night in the Woods. Let's talk with B. Although, actually, let's talk with you first. Hey, dude. Hello. How's working here going? Eh, I don't know. It pays. I, like, refuse to unload all that rock salt by myself. It's not even Halloween yet. Hey, May. How's the pickaxe? Trying to kill me. Unsuccessfully. Thus far, at least. What's so stressful? Well, on top of everything else, we're hosting that stupid horror fest play tomorrow. Oh, wow! Yeah, I'm never offering to do this again. What are you up to tonight? Uh, nothing. I'm like super tired. Because everything about my life is exhausting, and I'm doing the work of like three employees plus a store owner. Even though I'm one employee and I do not own this store. Oh, weird. I thought for some reason you own this place now. You'd think. But also, no, I'd rather die. Literally make me a coffin, using materials and tools from this store and bury me anywhere else. Jeez, that got intense. <sighs> anyway, I'm doing nothing tonight. <clears throat> I can do nothing too. Fine. So, are we doing this? Uh, got a couple other stops to make. I've learned my lesson. When it presents you with any sort of a choice that looks like that, it will basically end the day. I wonder if it makes any difference to the game. Who you hang out with. Because I imagine I can probably choose to hang out with at least one other person. Maybe Greg or something. Does it affect anything other than just, you know, who you get to hang out with? Is it just a personal choice, or...? Or does it actually, like, influence what happens in the game? Hey, May. Hey, Angus. How's video land? Good, good. Start of the Halloween rush. Got a pretty good horror section. Nice. You got a favorite? What, horror movie? Yeah. Scythe Sabbath. Ooh, Italian. Yeah, they don't mess around. Pretty colors. Pretty everything. Well, see you later. Bye. Angie. Hey, CJ? Yeah? You were, like, in high school when I was in middle school. Oh. Huh. Did I know you? You used to play nerd games with Tom Bramwell. Across the street from my house. <laughs> nerd games. That's quite a memory you got there. Do you live here anymore? Nah, just back visiting. For nerd games? They were like pen and paper role-playing stuff. Cool. But no, I'm just visiting family. Husband's driving down tomorrow. What do you do now? Lawyer. Oh, wow. Can I ask you some law stuff? Well, I'm not acting in a professional capacity, but yeah, sure. What's the best way to rob a bank? That's not really legal advice. Legal is like laws, right? Uh, and make robbing is a crime, right? And crimes are against the law. It's all related. I guess just, you know, bandit mask and a gun? Eh, it's been done. You know, we don't really learn this kind of stuff in law school. What is the point of, like, going to college if you don't learn useful shit? The laws are pretty useful. Useful my ass, CJ. Sorry, welcome back. Have a nice visit. Bye. Uh, see ya. Did I just hear the cat meow? Did it just meow? I swear it made a meow sound as I went by it. 
but it didn't do it again when I went by it again. Sunny again, thank goodness. What's got you down? Ah, it's nothing. Hey, uh, go smelters, right? Yeah, go smelters. Hey, hey, hey. Hi. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Whoa, what's up with you? I want to do something. Okay, well. You have a near-death experience or something? This job is one long near-death experience. So, dude, dude, dude. You want to do something, something, something? Uh... Have I... Been everywhere already? Um Can I can I say can't today dude and then come back? I'll try that. Aw oh, man. That's cool. Okay, yeah, so you can say can't today. It's weird, it sounds so final to say I can't today. That sounds like I'm never coming back to you know, it's like I'm not even leaving the door open. The possibility of it, of doing something. But, it's fine. I imagine we can't walk over here. Oh, wait a sec. Whoa! I was never able to go here before! I remember, uh, there was something like blocking me. I think just, May would say something like, I don't want to hike all the way out of town or something like that. Or if I can find the sinkhole or something. The heart of hometown since 1972. Ah, oh, the food donkey. Hey, Germ. Hey. Wanna hang out? Uh, I don't know. I was supposed to hang with Greg or B tonight. Jeez, I'm not asking you to run away and get married. Um. No? Okay, bye. Bye. Wait. Oh, no. What? Okay, so if I say I can't do anything today to Greg, you can actually come back and do something with them. But if I say no to Germ, I can't? Okay. That's weird. I just wanted to see what was over here before I said yes. And that's it. Well, I hung out with B last time, so let's hang out with Greg this time. Wounds. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> this is so cool. So beautiful. No, it's like a kit you can get off the internet. German me put it together. So it's a motorcycle now. No, it's it's like a motorized bike thing. It's different. Why don't you just get a dirt bike again? I'm an adult now. I ride a bike. So like, where are we? The woods. All right. Doom, 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 doom. What? What are you doing, Greg? 
Log Bridge to Valhalla. Cross and die, mortal. This log is going to snap and we're going to break our legs. And have to crawl back into town. Or die of, like, bears and cold. Remember when we used to knife fight? <laughs> yeah. We'd go home with, like, cuts all over our hands. So dumb. Well, I... What? I got knives. Right now. Just saying. Holy shit. Yeah, you're on. First to wuss out, three times loses. This is a terrible idea. That's a horrible idea. Come get cut, Gregor. Oh, great. Say goodbye to your fingers. This is not safe. Um, stab me once, shame on you. Stab me thrice, shame on... Yice? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. First one to wuss out three times. Yep, I got it. Stop stalling. On guard. Get stabbed. Oof. Jesus. Uh... Well... Unlike you, I'm not street trash. <laughs> That's like... We did, fucking hell, those are really sharp knives. May, you're trash wherever you go. <laughs> so that's how it is. I'm gonna stab you repeatedly with this knife. Ready, ready, ready? Uh, sure. One stab in. Ah, you okay? No pity, Greg. No pity. Okay, okay, okay. Ready? No! Let's stop. Let's not do this. I shouldn't have gone out with Greg. I should have went with B. Is you okay, dude? No. I'm not okay. We can s No. Again. <laughs> what are we doing? Uh... Okay, I might be done. That really hurt. Really? No. Let's go. What? <laughs> All right. Oh. Did I get your knuckle there? Oh man, I'm gonna have to explain this to my parents. Attacked by a dog again? Nah, they ask why it had a knife. Okay. More? Alright, I'm actually done. You okay? Eh, yeah, I'll be fine. Do you need me to, like, call your mommy? Okay, how many times have we been stabbed? I've been stabbed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 times. Greg's been stabbed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 times. Um. Yeah, uh, we'd be a fucking bloody mess. Tell her that her precious boy got stabbed in the woods. That was always how it was going to end for one of us. Okay, well, that's probably enough stabbing for today. All this blood gonna attract predators. Good point. I'm never hanging out with you again, Greg. Wait, why did you have two knives? Huh. Good question. Let's break this log. With the knives? No. This is probably gonna kill us. Nah, dude. Good point.
Oops, I accidentally skipped what May said. I was thinking, yeah? Like, if you see a rotting tree or a log or something in the woods, or like there's ice and a big rock, like, you have to kick the tree over or break the ice. Like, I can't not do that. Yeah. Hmm. The, like, feel of it's different now. Because I was here. Yeah, okay, yeah. That makes sense. These woods will never be the same, man. I changed them. We changed them. Butterfly effect. Dude, someone's gonna die or get born because we broke that log. Crap, man. Yeah. Uh. What the hell is that? Why do you have a crossbow? I was gonna say, I'm surprised you still have that. Yeah, well, hunting wasn't my thing. But I mean, dude. Like, what isn't fun about this thing? Did you ever go? Nah, my dad wasn't into it. Granddad was, but he definitely saw it as a guy thing. Hmm. I was pretty annoyed by that at the time. Really? Think you would have liked it? Probably, actually. Like, just buck hunting or something. Season starts day after tomorrow. Yeah. Well, anyway. I would have liked to have been asked, at least. You want to shoot this guy? So, like, what's going on there? The forest god. Like in the story? Yeah. Looks like he just stuck a bunch of targets and decoys together. You work, bang bang, with what you got. You want to shoot it, dude? Um, yes. She goes stand in front and I'll like shoot over your head. Uh, dude. Okay, okay, fine. Give me it. Yeah, let's let's not do that. Wow, this is heavier than I expected. Right? So make sure you pull back before you release the trigger. Then I just shoot wherever? Well, not to me. Alright. Oh god, there's birds! Can I shoot the birds? I'm not even gonna try. Headshot! Earshot. <laughs> Wham! You hit that sign pretty good. Sure did. Hunt that beast. Barreled. Can I, like, shoot the tree in the distance? Oh, that didn't go. Well, that shot sure went far. Quantity over quality. Ouch, right in the tail. Oof. There it goes. I'm out of bolts. That's cool. This is fun. I can take on, like, vampires now. You could. You could. Vampires the Possum Springs. They're out there. Shiny teeth. Shiny as the night. Okay, enough shooting for one day. Look at those... Look at those, uh... Cranes, are they? What 
What the hell was that? Yeah, that's been happening lately. What has? Electrical stuff? Wait, what electrical stuff? So, I don't want to be nosy, but... You seem a little up and down today? Yeah. It's a thing. I mean, it's been a thing in general lately, but... I'm... I'm a good person, right? Um... Sure. I don't know. What's up, man? I try really hard. Angus, like, needs me. He needs a Greg. Badly. Is Angus in trouble or something? Nah, it's like... He hasn't had the best life. His family's like, pure trash. I assumed his family was polite and quiet. Like him. Angus is how he is because he's a super rad person. Who came out of complete shit. I just don't ever want to lose him. Not ever. I don't know what I'd do. I don't want to screw this up. Are you two doing alright? Yeah, I think. We've had some arguments lately. About what? Uh, stuff. But, I'm just parking lot trash. I've known that all along. I've got, like, no future if it was just me when I'm awake at night. I listen to Angus snore, and I stare at the ceiling, and I think about how I'm a complete piece of shit. And, and, and... Greg. Greg. Calm down, dude. You're good. And Angus is good. Yeah. Angus is good. Nice, smart, hot, cool dude. Down to chill. Etc. Greg, etc. And you know... He's got that ass. <laughs> oh my god, thank you for finally saying it. <laughs> it's a fantastic ass, right? Why are we talking about your friend's ass? I mean, well, not friend. Why are we talking about your boyfriend's ass? This is a strange conversation topic. Fantastic. Okay, I'm not comfortable with you objectifying my boyfriend. Only his ass. And who could blame you? <laughs> I forget what I was going to say. I don't know. Probably worried about nothing. I have really up, up days and really down, down days. And I don't know which it is until it's over sometimes. I kind of coast through on general blah right now. <laughs> what kind of birds are those? I have no idea. Hey, bird! Northern Dumbfowl. <laughs> Eastern Skinny Bird. Do they fly south? Do you want me to make something up? Yeah. Yes. That's good. That's real good. Greg's happy. Okay. Forest God. And then Greg's sad, okay? Oof. What's up? Long day. Yeah, same here. How socializing? Surprisingly tiring sometimes. Yeah. That's why I don't do much of it. Any idea what was up with mom today? Oh, she's just stressed. That's vague. <laughs> well, 
I hate to be the one to break it to you, but you spent a lot of adulthood being vaguely stressed. Aw, oh, dang. I thought the stress would at least get more specific. Oh no, you'll have that too. Hmm. Cheer up, kiddo. It's only life. Gee, thanks, Pop. So, how about those crawl space boxes? Uh, yeah, okay, I'll move them. TV time? Yeah. They're never gonna move them. And we're back. Great crowd in here tonight. We'd never leave for too long, folks. Say, Garbo. Yeah, Malloy? Crowds like this remind me of our early days. I disagree. None of them are angry and drunk. Most of them, anyway. No, I mean those old nights. Those good nights. Just the heat of those stage lights and the thrill of winging it. And the gentle thump of an empty beer bottle thrown at your head. These days, things are pretty cushy. You think we're getting soft? You sure are. Around the midsection. That's so awful. Malloy, it's company policy to never body shame. Oh, I never worry about that, Garbo. Why's that, Malloy? What would you call body shameless? Coming up next, Garbo and I go to counseling. I think a little piece of me just died. Any new messages on the computer? Yes. Hey, kid. Hey, yo. Thanks for hanging out. Or, thanks for hanging earlier. No prop, dude. How's your knifed up hand? I'll live. Angus fixed me. Aw, oh, good boyfriend. Yeah, he's a keeper. Sorry I was a bummer there at the end. It's fine, dude. Seriously. I just... Yeah. Get some sleep, man. Will do. Night, brah. <laughs> brah. Hey, B. You there? Yes, sir. What are you up to? Doing budget stuff for the shop and watching music videos from the 80s. Those are the exact things you'd be doing if you were, like, 20 years older than you are. Well, someone had to take over for my mom. I'm just being thorough. Well, you're doing a good job. Thanks. Gotta get back to work. Night, night. Oh, already seen that. The home dome. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And, and when I return, I'm certainly not going to hang out with Greg ever again because I don't want to get stabbed.